this is Kathy with Decal Pals on Etsy. Today we're going to talk about how to resize this fun Halloween design in Cricut Design Space. Here's the listing at decalpals.etsy.com. This is a cute three color design that would look great, cut from heat transfer vinyl and applied to a shirt or a tote bag. If you cut it out of pressure sensitive vinyl, you could put it on one of those glass cubes or a big glass jar and fill it with candy corn or some other Halloween candy. I cut this design out of pressure sensitive vinyl or adhesive vinyl as some folks call it as small as 3.6 inches and it still looked great. So at that size it would fit on a tall mug or an insulated cup or something like that. I would love to see what you do with this design. Here's a shot of the components of the design and we're going to resize it and send it to cut uh, on your Cricut design space. So before we do anything else let's meet over at my Cricut design space mat. So you've purchased this listing from decalpals.etsy.com thank you very much and you received the confirmation email that gives you the link to the download. You've downloaded the zip file, you've extracted the files, storing them on your computer where you can find them. So now at this point you're going to click on upload images then upload image in this window and now you're going to click on browse. You're going to find your way to the folder where you stored these files and you're going to find the file named Ghost in Pumpkin SVG. You can either double click on it or click it and then click open whichever you're more comfortable with. In this window you're going to click save and here you're going to choose your design that you just saved and go over here and click insert images and there's your design now I'm gonna zoom out so that I can see a little bit better here's our image and we're gonna to go to the edit tab and I'm gonna look at the size if this is the size that you need then you're good to go to click go and, and go cut your design but if you need a different size you'll want to determine which measurement you're going to use either the height or the width now before we go any further you'll want to make sure that this lock right here is in the locked position here's what it looks like locked and here's what it looks like unlocked you want to make sure it's locked so that when you change either one of these measurements the design will keep the right shape so I'm going to go to the height and I'm going to double click here and I'm going to make mine 7 inches so I'm going to type 7 on my keyboard and hit enter and there you can see that the design changed size. So next we're just ready to click go and there you see your black mat, your green mat, this little guy right there and your orange mat with the two pieces that are orange and click go and you're ready to go to your machine easy peasy. I hope this will help you use this design easily. I'd love to see what you do with it. If this video helped would you please give it a thumbs up to let other Cricut folks know and when you finish your project I invite you to review the design on Etsy and post a picture of your finished project. Hey thanks for your valuable time. This is Kathy with decalpals.etsy.com saying Keep cutting and stay happy.